One of the biggest updates we've ever seen on Night Drive is actually very close to being launched. And now we can actually see it on the test track. This is so incredible, my mind is blown. Performance testing in progress. Just a quick heads up that the new track over at test.nightshipe.com is undergoing some performance testing right now. So it will look like the screenshot above, where your regular car will temporarily not be used. What you'll see instead is a lot of animated elements, car trails, and the like. Basically everything we can throw at the track to see how it performs under pressure. Holy cow. Holy cow, guys. Night nice Shadipe is final, fin finally releasing all of the, like, animations and stuff that I've been talking about for months and months. They finally released some of it to the new test track. And as you can see in the screenshot of the, uh, news, the news post banner, this stuff looks high quality. I've already been able to see some of this stuff, but being able to really race with it is going to be a, a pleasure. A, hopefully it'll be good. This has probably been one of Night Drive's biggest, like, visual graphics updates ever, I think. And just the fact that I mentioned in so many videos, I've talked about it for so long, the admins are bringing it up, and now it's finally on the test track. I'm kind of really excited, guys. I have not seen any of this yet. This is actually my first time, be like, being on the test track and stuff like that. But I think there's a couple different car options. Oh my god. Yo, that's some animation. Holy cow. Where do, okay, where do I begin? So first off, we got a really, the my eyes immediately go to the very, very high quality trail. That fire trail, yo, that actually looks pretty good. I remember the old fire trail was like really, really bad, which is why I didn't like the old fire trail. But this fire trail actually looks like the car is shooting out fire. And that's perfect holy cow that is good and then we got then we got the rental car i believe this is and you can see it's going with like an error not an error theme but like a uh a, a, a air, yeah an error error 404 theme right it's like a missing car you got the missing image symbol on the top and every couple seconds i don't know if you guys can see it, i can definitely see it it is like glitching out and kind of particling out a bit that is actually a really cool animation that i appreciate like i it may not seem like much, but that animation adds so much more to the car. Also, look at my name tag. It looks like there's a dust storm going on over here. That looks pretty cool. If I was given the uh, like opportunity to choose between a couple different name tags, this might not be the one I'd choose, but I still love the animation quality. So now I'm going to start the race because I think the bots also have... Oh, yeah! Oh, holy cow. Okay, I'm going to check all this stuff out um, in the race, like, finish page, if you know what I'm saying. But let, let me do this race. Well, that's one issue with society. <laughs> okay, my nitro, my nitro was, like, really vibrant. I don't know if you guys caught that, but my nitro was, like, holy cow, that was cool. So I refreshed the page because that race was dumb. Uh, but as you can see, we got the Air 500 now. Now, this is one of my favorite cars of all time. I personally am a huge favorite of the Air 500, and I said that if there's an Air 500 animation, it might become one of my favorites, like one of my top 10 favorite cars. And this animation, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in a tiny bit for you. I'm gonna zoom, I'm gonna zoom in a tiny bit. Wow, that looks good. You can see it has like the tiny little particle shooting off the Air 500. The Air 500 is such a like a dynamic car. I love this animation. Holy cow. That is really cool. And then we got the same fire trail and like dust storm thing as last time. But that Air 500 animation. Wow. Someone call the fire department because this car is fire. No, no one laughed at that, please. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyways, that is, wow, that is really, really good. I'm actually super impressed with this. And if we, if we start the race now, we can see more bots come in. Yo, oh, the Air 500 is different, like, colors, too. They got the lightning trail, got, like, a sparkle name tag. Yo, this is so good.
Okay, a couple of things that I'm noticing is that the track, like, lag quality has definitely decreased by a lot. Like, if I tried to run this, like, track just for, like, some races and stuff, oh, boy, it would not be good. Um, I definitely think the lag quality has gotten significantly worse since, like, the previous update. And it's obvious, right? All the animations are literally, like, freezing my screen right now. So I guess that's one of the problems with trying to play, like, a, a kid's typing game on, like, a normal MacBook, right? If you start adding in a bunch of animations, there's going to be a lot of people who just won't be able to play it at like a good frame rate just because of all the animations. And I guess that's why it's called performance testing, right? Uh, this is like, it, I guess it's, I guess in one way it's failing their performance test, right? It's not performing well. However, if we sidestep all those issues, these animations look sweet. You can see the Air 500s in five different colors, making a nice rainbow here. And I think that it looks good in all of them. Um, as we go down the line, we got, uh, like, a skid fire burn mark trail. I think I've actually talked about that trail specifically before, so I'm not going to say too much about it here, although I do like it a lot. Then we got the lightning trail, which is really, really good looking. Holy cow. That lightning trail is top notch, Night Day. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Then we got a snowflake trail. I don't remember a snowflake trail on like the old nitrodype, but I do think that this one looks really cool. You can see like the puffs of like blue icy air and then of course the snowflakes themselves. I think it looks great and especially with the um with the blue painted air 500. And that's something about the um having having like new customizable trails and name tags now. You can make your trail match your car and you can make your name tag match your car and your car match everything else. Like you can really make some cool looking cars even though it's just like the beta stages. And I also think that for those of you who might not have gotten the Air 500 back in season 27, rest in peace. <laughs> this car is definitely Night Shape's like go-to car for just making a sweet animation, which makes sense because it's a sweet car. Uh, however, uh, my name tag looks cool. These name tags also look cool, although they're a bit bland for me. I'm not sure I would like specifically choose that name tag that the bots are all using right now. Oh well. Other than that, I see, I really like the animations, uh, and my only issue, obviously, is with the performance. However, I believe that there is one more thing that we need to test out. So we've seen the um, Air 500 animation, obviously. We have seen the what's it? Oh, whoops. We have seen the Air 500 animation. We have seen the Guest Racer missing car animation. I believe there's one more animation that I want to check out for cars specifically. That's not it. I guess I'll just reload the page until I get it. Although the, the Lightning Shell does look super sweet on my car. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, here it is. So the third car that they decided to animate, funny enough, was actually the uh, Golden Police Bimmer. I, for, I forget how you got this car. I, I honestly don't know how you're supposed to get... I, I like how you got this car in the first place. But I think the car does look super cool. And as we zoom in on the animation... Hold up. <laughs> hold up. Oh, that's large. All right. So that looks super nice. Holy cow. We got the spinning lights, obviously. Just like the flashing police siren. Uh, obviously, it's not like a massive animation, but I think that it does add a nice a, 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 a nice touch. Obviously, there is a question of like how flashy can you get without it being in your face. Yeah, maybe a couple of these animations are a bit too flashy. I, I can definitely see a couple of people not really liking the animations. However, I do think that it adds a, adds a nice touch. It makes it look really, really like simple, but also kind of sleek. Um, I definitely like the police car a lot more now that it has an animation. And I think that's one of the biggest like... I guess, uh, upsides to having an animation, they can look like, they can make like medium cars look good. Like I would never use the golden police car ever. Like I would never use this car, but now that there's an animation on it, I might actually consider it. It's not a bad car to use with the animation. And so once you start adding animations to all these like second tier cars, you can really bump them up to something that I would actually use in game. And I guess we're just going to load all the bots into one more race. I do think that this looks super, super fire. Oh, yeah. It's got, like, the flashing lights and everything. Yo. Oh, and the type trail looks, like, super good. And the smoke trail. Holy cow.
But yeah, as you can see, my, my computer's definitely like slowing down a bit. You might not be able to hear it, but the fan is going right now. So performance is always an issue. However, I do think that the, the, the animations look really solid. So I guess this is Night Shrive's way of saying like how many like high-tech animations can we throw at this track without it just straight up crashing. We've already seen some issues. I know that some of my friends in the Discord were racing and they were having issues. Um, In one of the races I tried to do today... The start down timer or the count start down timer. What is that? The countdown timer just never loaded, which is kind of funny, um, but obviously not what we want to be seeing on the track. So after all of that, I think the three animations they released for the cars look super sweet. Um, they could be considered a bit too flashy. I think the Air 500 is definitely my favorite, though. I love that car. And then, of course, the trails are definitely a huge step up from the uh, from the old trails. I was not a huge fan of the old trails. And now the new trails look sweet. Also, the name tags look kind of cool. I don't know if this is the only two options they have for name tags, but I would definitely consider, or I would obviously use one of them, but I would definitely consider using like one or both of them during my racing. So, all in all, I think that the trails and the animation look sweet. I'm super proud with how Nightshape has come up with all these things. Uh, and some issues to try and figure out, I guess, for Nightshape. Maybe try to make them less flashy somehow. I think I mentioned this some, uh, before in my other video. And also maybe try and make the track less laggy. For those of us who don't have like $7,000 gaming PCs. Ay. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Head over to test.nightshade.com to check out all of this for yourself. Um, I know I never said that in the beginning of the video, but yeah, whenever I do a video on the new track, always be sure to test that thing out for yourself um, because you can test it out just as I can test it out. And testing out for yourself is probably better than just watching me talk about it for 15 minutes. Anyways, I'll see you on the next video. Be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel, whatever. It helps out a ton. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone, and have, as always, a wonderful day.